Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Cursed Loot. So, the gambler had a fairly decent run, but he didn't make it as far as our previous record, sadly. Let's try someone different this time. We've had the Berserker. I tried the Shaman off camera and found him quite difficult. The Tinkerer was tough. The gambler was alright. Hmm. I know we've tried the Goblin and not had much luck, but I've never tried the Peasant. For obvious reasons. He doesn't have any skills at all. Well, I'm feeling brave, so let's do it. Now, where is me lovely? It truly ain't like her to go running off like this. Perhaps you shied hiding down this here hole. Wasn't he? I'm, I'm going to stop attempting that accent. It doesn't work. Anyway, he's chasing a sheep, apparently. And he's chased a sheep into a dungeon. Fantastic. <laughs> he must be really determined to get this sheep back. I mean, let's face it. If the sheeps come down here, it's not going to last long. Okay, so we've got our standard first floor chest, which hopefully contains some delightful goodies. God, if we live long enough to open it, this lack of skills could be a serious problem. Okay, what have we got? Health potion, dwarven ring and amulet, and 145 gold pieces. I swear these halls on the first floor get better and better every time. So we'll equip that, we'll equip uh, that one, okay, now let's press on. We seem to be doing quite a lot of damage at this point, which is a little surprising. Okay, points into luck to start with, and then into dexterity. I didn't want to fall foul of not having enough luck, as the gambler did, because I, I attribute his... Um, mid-game near failure to his lack of luck. Ironic for a professional gambler. Okay, I think we've about done with this little floor here. So, just loop back round and head down to the second floor. Yep, go past the usual sign from the management. Mystery scrolls, rats and spiders, nothing we haven't seen a hundred times before. Oh, poison, really? Ugh. Poison so early in the game, bad luck. But then, frankly, this guy's health was probably not at its peak anyway, since he's an elderly shepherd clad entirely in rags. Ugh, really need to get some better equipment. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what I'm using. I assume it's a crook of some sort. Yep, yeah, Shepherd's Crook. Fantastic. And we don't have any skills to back us up in these fights. As I said before, that could be our downfall here. Okay. Now we have to pick a skill. And I'll be curious to see how this goes, actually, because usually characters have one skill that they can level up more by putting additional points into it. Or rather, each point gives them two levels rather than one. But since the Shepherd doesn't start with any skills, I assume that doesn't happen. What shall we do? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I think stat boost is usually a waste of time. But, since the Shepherd really has nothing going for him, maybe it'd be worth trying. Okay. So, explore the rest of this floor. Probably nothing tremendously exciting. What's this? Mugs banging on tables. We inch cro closer to a group of orcs engaged in some serious drinking. Um, go on, why not? Finding a sheep is thirsty business. Silence descends and they want to start a fight with me. So, let's, let's try and brazen it out with a bit of bravado. <laughs> And we've almost got away with it. But we need to successfully drink him under the table. This could require some luck. Ah, and it worked out. We actually managed to drink an orc under the table. This shepherd is sturdier than he looks. So we've got an orcish club. Which is slightly better than our crook. So we might as well equip it. 
Don't know what any of these other things are, so hopefully we'll run into a shop soon so we can get them identified. Okay, I think we've about done with this floor as well. So, downward once more. Okay, into the well-furnished bit of the dungeon. Okay, more rats. Nothing too distressing there. Even the shepherd can handle rats, particularly now he's carrying an orcish club. I don't know why orcish clubs are better than normal clubs. I didn't think orcs were particularly known for their blacksmithing abilities. Not that a club really requires a blacksmith, of course. Okay, so, first things first. Identify all this crap. Antidote. No. Teleport scroll, yes. Orcish harness, I'll equip in a moment. Magic map, no. Spare ring, no. Another orcish club, no. So, equip our dungarees here. Um, oh yeah, sell the crook. For some reason I forgot to do that. And see about buying some lantern oil and some health potions. And we don't really have enough gold to buy anything significant now, so let's just oops, move on. Okay. Oh god, look at it. Uh, <laughs> he looks awful. Looks like he should be in porn. Anyway. Mystery potion again. Just a minute too late. Maybe I shouldn't go into shops as soon as I see them, but clear out the rest of the floor first. Oh well, a lesson to remember for the future. Okay. Hack through more infestations of creatures. Nothing out of the ordinary. Slot machine, but we can safely avoid it because we're not a gambler anymore. Oh, gems. That was a nice find. And the mysterious scroll. Well, I think go back to the shop and offload that gem. And then just see what we can do with whatever gold we get from that. So, get rid of the antidote, get rid of the emerald, get rid of these rags. And uh, can we pick up anything? We can't quite afford the studded armour. What about if we sell the mystery potion and the mystery scroll? No? You don't get any money for doing that? Ah, oh, what a rip-off. <sighs> oh well. Onwards. Clean up this bat, and I think just move on downstairs. Okay. <laughs> well signposted secret door. And a shell, that's definitely worth remembering. Um... I don't think we need the cloak. I think that's probably not as good as our creepy lederhosen. No. Um, but we do need this level up. So, a bit more luck. Dexterity and damage, I think. Because I don't feel like the shepherd is really inflicting all that much damage. Okay, another secret door. Hmm... A load of enemies guarding some money. Exactly what you hope to find behind a secret door. Any more? No? Okay. Right. Hmm. Not the most exciting floor in the world. Bit of money, but that's about it. I was hoping for some kind of fantastic weapon, but... No such luck, it seems. Lots of secret doors, though. Hmm. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. The exit was behind a secret door, but we're not using the exit at all. We're going to use the magic shell of unexpected platforming. But first, clear out these bugs and bats and things. Okay. As usual, nothing to get too worked up about. Just hop over some lava, grab some coins. I'm sure lederhosen aren't really the garments for doing this, but can't be helped. It was either that or keep our rags on. I suppose I could put on a more stylish cloak, but... Somehow, um, peasantry and lederhosen seem to go together. <laughs> okay, lots of rats. Lots and lots of rats. Right. Well-timed level up. I think we need more defence and more damage. 
So my my stat increases are all over the place here. The last time, as the gambler, I had I had a plan. I was going dexterity and defense, but this time I'm pretty much just doing whatever comes to mind, which is probably not the best approach. Okay. Right, there's the exit. Some more money. Again, not a very eventful floor. Doesn't seem like there's a lot going on. Ah, a mystery event. Okay. What have we got? A large stone sarcophagus etched with elaborate markings. Yeah, why not rob it? Vampire, naturally. It's always a bloody vampire. And he's about to do us in. We did take him down, but it was very touch and go for a second or so there. Okay. Finish off the rat. Oh god. Almost dead. Uh, well, let's clean up this vermin. Hopefully we'll get another level before we head downstairs. No, it doesn't look very likely. Oh well. Down it is. Level 6. Mm, making decent progress, but I don't feel like this is a particularly strong run. If the gambler couldn't do it, I don't feel like the peasant can do it. Time to refill the lantern, I think. Okay. Ooh, what's this armour? Anything useful? Yes. Okay, put on the leather armour. Hopefully that'll keep us alive a little bit longer, but again, don't feel great about our chances. Because the gambler, at this point in his game, was a pretty strong fighter. And the peasant really is not. Oh god, this could be the end right here, actually. One episode. Ugh. Come on, peasant, you can do better than that. Okay. So let's pick up some defense and some dexterity, and... We need to choose an attack ability for ourselves. I think go with poison, because it did pretty well with the gambler. Okay. Alright, well that did help. But we've used a lot of potions the last couple of floors, and I think it's all going to come crashing down pretty soon. Let's start off by identifying all this. Enchant weapon scroll. Mm -hmm. Let's just sell junk. Um, keep the enchant weapon scroll. Don't need two teleport scrolls, so sell that. Um, what are these? Antidote? No. Drink me? Absolutely not. Pick up some health potions to replace the ones I've used. And... Uh, can I afford that? Yes. So, buy a pike. To give ourselves slightly more of a fighting chance. Sort the stuff and move on. <laughs> fighting a bat with a pike seems like overkill somehow. Um, right, is there much left of this floor? Hmm. Okay. Oh, what about the Chris? Did I just waste my money on a pike? No. Okay. Alright, well, we'll explore upwards, I think, just to be thorough. But we should probably head for the exit pretty soon. Okay, poison the bugs. Right. I think that's it for this floor, so let's move downwards. And the peasant is still diligently pursuing his sheep. Anyway, that'll do for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time for more peasantry.